Let me show you how to set up a multi-chat when you're multi-streaming, so that way you can read it on your second monitor, display it to your viewers, and do whatever else you want with it. And this multi-chat includes TikTok, thank God. I don't know why it's so hard to find one that does. Something with the API key, I don't know. But this one includes TikTok, Twitch, Kick, YouTube, everything you're gonna need. So let's jump in. The tool that we'll be using is by Caster Labs, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. Luckily, they did not sponsor this video, so I can take a dump on their product if I want to. But basically, just follow the link in the description. You're gonna hit the download for Windows button. I don't see a Mac option, so I guess if you're on Mac, you can take this Bean Boozle canister and shove it up your... But after you're done downloading it, you can run the installation process and open it. And by the way, this will work for OBS Studio, Streamlabs, or wherever you wanna import it to. If we look on the left-hand side here, we got the dashboard, which isn't showing anything right now. We got chatbot, if you wanna use the chatbot stuff, I guess. We got widgets and alerts, which I'm not gonna be talking about, docs for later. But we're gonna focus on the settings because we need to connect all of our accounts for the multi-chat. So we're gonna go to settings, and then right next to appearance is gonna be accounts. And this is where you're gonna link all of the accounts you want to have your multi-chat for. So you can see that I've connected my Twitch account, my Kick account, my TikTok account, and then you can also do Trovo, YouTube, DLive, whatever else. So after you've connected all of your streaming services to Caster Labs to be able to get the actual chats, then you'll be able to go to the dashboard over here. And then if you look at the very bottom now, you'll see that you have Twitch, TikTok, and Kick, or whatever other platforms that you've connected. I just have these three because these are the three I connected. Also, make sure to keep Caster Labs open and running whenever you're streaming. Otherwise, your chat will not show up in OBS. Streamlabs or your stream. So make sure Caster Labs is open and running whenever you're streaming. But essentially this right here is going to be our multi-chat. So now if we want to import this into OBS Studio and Streamlabs, we need to go to the docs section and then we're going to click on stream chat, which is going to copy that link to our clipboard. So now we need to import into OBS first and then I'll show you Streamlabs right after. For OBS users, you're going to go to the top where it says docs and then we're going to do custom browser docs. And then we're just going to call this multi-chat and then the URL we're going to copy paste that URL link and then hit apply. And then now we have our multi-chat here, which you can just drag and dock somewhere else. And then if you're on Streamlabs, all you gotta do is click this little button on the left-hand side here, and then you'll be able to choose a layout. And then you're gonna drag the website option on one of these spaces. And then you're gonna paste in that link into the website option, hit save changes, and then it'll pop up here. And if you don't see it, there might be a little arrow that you have to pop out, but, but most of the time it should be right here and you can drag this to make it larger or smaller. So once you've added it on OBS, you can just hit close Streamlabs already done and then now we can test it we can go to twitch for example i'll hit test and so it'll send a message from the twitch chat there and then i can test it from kick i'll do test and then once you actually go live you get tiktok messages it'll pop up there showing a little icon and i can show you guys that it worked on my last live stream so let me pull it up so if you see here you can see we got twitch and then we got a tiktok user right there so it has all of the chats and i was able to make it transparent so i can show you all that right now because i don't want to gatekeep you guys should be able to have this information at your fingertips and if you want even more secret insider tips and you can also check out my free streamers masterclass down below in the description but before we customize this i want to show you how you can add it over your stream so your viewers can see it like i had it in my stream all you got to do is add a new source and then you're going to use a browser source we'll call it multi-chat in all caps so the old people can read it and then we're going to get rid of this url and we're going to copy and paste that same url we did for this one and then you can make the height and width here so that way the chat doesn't get cut off so for example if i wanted to make it taller we could do it like a thousand by i don't know like 500 maybe and then we hit okay and then now we got a big chat here but then you notice that there's this background here right what i ended up doing was i just right click on the browser source and then i did filters and then i did an effect filter it's the same same thing on Streamlabs. So we'll just add a new filter. We're going to add a chroma key, hit OK. And then I'm going to do the color type to custom. And then I'm going to actually select the color. And then I want to do pick screen color. And I'm going to click on that chat box and then hit OK. And then now it has made our chat box disappear because we're the new Chris Angel of streaming. Just kidding. We actually have to drag the similarity all the way down to the left and then smoothness all the way down and then color spill all the way down. And that's pretty much it. Now it doesn't look super pretty, but this is what I found to be best case scenario for me and then I hit close and then I hold the alt key on my keyboard to crop out the bottom part and then crop out a little bit of the right to get rid of that slider so now you have a transparent multi-chat box it's the same exact process for Streamlabs, by the way too so if you want to actually customize your multi-chat then you can click on this little gear icon and then you're gonna be able to see a bunch of stuff the preferences that I really like are use colors by user color so that way it just shows each user as their own color or you can choose streaming platform so I believe all of the twitch users will be 
purple names, and then all of the kick users will be green names, so on and so forth. But I like user color. You can also have a ding when a new message comes in. I know a lot of you small streamers were asking for that for the longest of time. So here's a solution for you. You can also have read messages out loud in case you can't read too great. And then you can also adjust the text size here. So if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can. You can also show timestamps, badges, uh, join, leave messages, all that good stuff. But I just like the user's platform to show like kick, twitch, TikTok. And then I also like show activities like followers, subs. So that way I know when I get new followers and subs and everything. So really, I just like user color, text size, making it a little bit bigger or smaller, and then platforms, activities, all that stuff. And so that'll change that here. And if you want it to affect the one that you have on your screen here, just double click on that multi-chat browser source we made, scroll down to where it says refresh cache of current page. We're going to click it and then it's going to refresh it and apply those changes we made there. We actually don't have to update the URL. So it's really nice. So now you got a multi-chat where you can actually use TikTok. So this is the current multi-chat solution I'm using to read TikTok and all my other messages. So if this helps you out, drop a like on the video so other streamers can find it and watch this playlist to the side of me. It shows you how to grow your Twitch stream from scratch. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.